Okay, today we're gonna build the riser for the uh, the movie theater seating. And uh, shouldn't be too bad. I think we got about almost six feet across. I think it's like five and a half. Uh, I got everything laid out uh, by pencil on the ground, how I want it, as wide as it's gonna be. Uh, should allow enough room for the, uh, the couches or the movie theater seating to recline fully without messing up the, uh, the recliners up in the front. So we're gonna make this roughly uh, 13 to 14 inches high. We don't want it to get too high, but it needs to be high enough to where when people are looking at the screen and the, on the, the platform that you're able to, uh, to see everything without anybody blocking your view in the front. So that's what we're gonna do. Um, we're gonna build that today. Um, and you could do this uh, after the basement's finished if you want. We're gonna do it before. That way we can uh, transition the electric into it from this wall, uh, no problem, because these are gonna be powered recliners eventually. So. Anyways, uh, here we go. Okay, I got all the base cut out. So basically what I'm gonna do is make kind of miniature walls. And then on top of those walls, I'm gonna set my two by sixes. And that should be enough strength to put the plywood on to then be able to set furniture on top of this. So, like I said, we're only going to go up to 13 to 14 inches. So I'm going to calculate how big I need my two by fours. I'm going to go ahead and cut all the top plates out too. These are all the bottom plates. I'm going to do the top plates next. Okay, so I got the base up and it's pretty square. Um, all we gotta do now is put across the two by sixes and that'll give me a, uh, and then we'll have to put some plywood on it. That'll give me that 14 inch height and then we'll build the step right there. Uh, so far it's worked out pretty good and uh, we'll get to work. Okay, here's the platform so far. It's turned out pretty good. The only thing that somebody could do different than this is to put a rim board on these, and that's just to give it some more stability on this section when we put the plywood on it. Uh, I didn't do that because I didn't have enough board. So, but what I plan on doing is putting OSB right here, face this, and then when I put the top board, I'm gonna make sure that overlaps. So this part will have a little bit of structural support. It's just a riser, so it ain't that big of a deal, but uh, if I were to do something different, just a, that's a little suggestion, and uh, I should have bought a little bit more of these uh, two by sixes, but that's okay. So anyways, I'm gonna start making cuts on some OSB, and uh, we'll see how it works out. Okay, we're gonna build the steps now, right here. Okay. It's uh, two foot width, and it's gonna be 14 inches high to the top of this platform, which I don't want to uh, nail any of that down yet because I gotta put insulation in the middle. Um, so we're gonna need seven inches of a riser 
on both sides. So we should be able to achieve that with five and a half um, inch board there. That's the, the width plus two three quarter inch piece of plywood should be seven inches. So we're gonna go ahead and build that now. great working over here putting in some outlets over here we also got the ones put in on this wall it's a couple of them there it is it looks awesome see the steps here we added a reinforcement there so that's what's gluing there's my little ninja hi Elias back over here looks awesome ninja again And then we'll look at the front here. It really turned out nice. I love this. So we'll have a couch there. And then we will have a couch down here. And then we'll have a bunch of bean bags to put in front of that for the kids. So far, so good. And we also, we did not nail down the top part yet of the plywood because we have to actually run electric in there for the movie theater seating and some other stuff. So we will nail the rest of that down once the electric and everything goes in there. I really like it, it looks great. So now we're gonna move on to some other projects. What's next? I'm just gonna run some electric and some uh, speaker wires. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Perfect. And progress for tonight. James got all the insulation on the inside of the platform and he's screwing it down. And you can see too where the glue is under there as well. And you can see here where he put in the wires to run the outlets that the movie theater seats can plug into. Here we are in the mess of the basement. It's done, it's all screwed in. We've got the glue wiped. Well, not really wiped off, smeared in. But here, you can see where he ran the wires for that too. So, it's coming along. Levi, you wanna show me your safety glasses? Let's see your new safety glasses. You look so good, bud. Now James and his little helper are stretching wire. What cable? Right there. Hey James, what cable are you pulling across the basement here? Pulling a coax and a Cat Five or a Cat Six Ethernet. Elias, let's see your new safety glasses. You look great, dude. Love them. Isaac and I are sitting here on the couch watching them work. Before we drywall, we'll explain all the cables that I pulled for the uh, movie theater. That way, if somebody's building one, they'll know. We need to make a movie just on movie theater. Okay. All right, ignore the kids in the background, but here's a little updated tour on the basement. I picked up a little bit today so that we weren't working in such a mess. But anyway, here it is. Base is looking good. You can see where there's a lot of wires now put in. 